This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by ShipStation. In just a moment, I'm going to talk about an offer exclusive to you that I truly believe you should take advantage of. Before I get to that, though, you probably saw this headline. I talked about it last week, about Enrique uh, Tario, the Proud Boys leader, or former Proud, Proud Boys leader, that he met in an underground garage with the leader of the Oath Keepers. Because you know that's how above board business is done in underground parking garages. <laughs> and now it's being reported. Read this headline to you. Uh, DOJ. Film crew was present at January 5th meeting between leaders of Proud Boys and Oath Keepers. The details provide new evidence of the encounter between the two groups whose leaders played a key role in the breach of the United States Capitol that day. Well, I hold in my hand that indictment. It's actually a <clears throat> the memorandum in support of the of motion for detention because the government doesn't want to let him out to be free and sow mischief and mayhem and chaos while he's awaiting trial for several charges, including conspiracy. Because the government alleges, and not without evidence, but the government alleges that he was calling the shots from behind the scenes since he was banished from the, the District of Columbia, not allowed to be here, after having burned a Black Lives Matter flag that he stole from a church. And I'm going to read a few bits of this. One, some of their justification for him not being uh, allowed to uh, roam free, waiting for trial. But also, the bit about the film crew. And it just, it kind of goes to show that these aren't criminal masterminds. These are morons. Bringing film crews with them, the footage of which now the government has, the audio from that footage the government has, that's all evidence. Before I get to that, reading from this, and there's some nuggets in here, a word from today's sponsor, ShipStation. Like me, you sell stuff on the internet. And it's great, am I right? More people are shopping online than ever before. But what happens when your increased orders meet supply chain issues? You need help. You need ShipStation. ShipStation is the fearless leader of the e-commerce universe, and their software enhances our ability as online retailers to process, fulfill, and ship all of our orders from all of the best marketplaces using all of the best carriers. For our Dollamore merchandise, some of it at least, ShipStation has been a game changer. Get your ship together. Head to ShipStation.com slash Dollamore to try ShipStation for free for 60 days. That's two months of professional shipping solutions for free. ShipStation makes it simple to manage all of your orders, automate any shipping task, and push products out the door. You can import orders from any sales channel, Etsy, Amazon, or your own site. ShipStation allows you to ship with any carrier and affords you the same rates reserved for Fortune 500 companies. And you can do all of these things easily even from your cell phone, thanks to ShipStation's intuitive interface. Show your customers that you give a ship. Sign up now and support this channel at the same time at ShipStation.com slash Dollamore to try ShipStation for 60 days completely free. More than 100,000 sellers online are already doing it. Hit up ShipStation.com slash Dollamore and make ship happen. So let's, let's get into this. Let's read a little bit from the government's memorandum in support of motion for detention for Enrique Tario, leader of the Proud Boys. The United States moves to detain Enrique Tario. It's also United States of America versus Enrique Tario, also known as Henry Tario. The United States moves to detain Enrique Tario pending trial. A grand jury returned an indictment charging Tario with conspiracy to obstruct justice by
by orchestrating a plot to corruptly obstruct, influence, and impede the certification of the elect uh, Electoral College vote resulting from the 2020 presidential election, including, including an attack on the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. Based on the compelling evidence of Tario's leadership of this conspiracy, there are no conditions of release that can reasonably assure the safety of the community or the defendant's appearance in court. So both, they're claiming, the government, I believe duly, that not only is he a flight risk, that he might not appear in court, but that also he poses a risk to society to his community. And based on Tario's public comments aimed at chilling witnesses against his co-conspirators, as well as his own purported efforts to evade law enforcement, he poses a risk of obstructing justice should he be released. Pretrial detention is warranted and necessary. He is actually sitting before a judge today, Tuesday, and we will see the outcome. But the other part of this that I want to read kind of gives the background of their operation. On December 19th, 2020, this is uh, page three of this particular indictment, three of 21, if you have it at home and you're following along. On December 19th, 2020, plans were announced for a protest in Washington, D.C. To, to coincide with Congress's January 6th certification of the Electoral College vote. Beginning in late December 2020, Tario created a new chapter for the Proud Boys, referred to as the Ministry of Self-Defense, or MOSD, which I will be referring to in multiple occasions here. The Ministry of Self-Defense. It's, like it's like a class at Hogwarts or something, like a, like a Harry Potter thing. The, this is the best they got. Fantastic. You're in good hands, Donald Trump supporters. You got the Proud Boys and the Ministry of Self-Defense. <laughs> uh, Tario described the Ministry of Self-Defense as a national rally planning chapter that would include only hand-selected members. You know, the cream of the crop of the Proud Boys. Real elites we're talking about here. Tario and the other MOSD leaders uh, imposed a command and control structure on this new chapter. Tario identified the MOSD leaders and organized them as, uh, into a operational council and marketing council. Ministry of Self-Defense has a marketing council. The MOSD leaders then in turn hand-selected Proud Boys to become members of the MOSD. On January 6, Tario's men, the leaders and members of the MOSD, were at the front of the crowd that unlawfully breached the Capitol grounds and overturned and overran, excuse me, police lines meant to protect the Capitol and its occupants. Co-conspirator Dominic Pozzola, which you may have seen, smashing out a window. Uh, Dominic Pozzola was the first person to physically breach the Capitol when he used a stolen police, uh, Capitol Police shield to break a window adjacent to the Senate wing door, which allowed the first members of the mob to breach the interior of the Capitol at 2.13 p.m. The certification of the Electoral College vote was almost immediately halted. Again, this is why there is a conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding. The proceeding was immediately canceled. They obstructed the official proceeding. Tario was not physically present at the Capitol on January 6th. On January 4th, he was arrested in Washington, D.C. for his Jan uh, December 12th burning of the Black Lives F uh, Matter banner. He was detained briefly, and upon his release on January 5th, he was ordered to leave the District of Columbia. Tario, nonetheless, continued to exercise command and control over the MOSD, whose leaders on the ground sought Tario's approval for the plan of the plan for January 6th later that evening. As the riot unfolded on January 6th, Tario claimed credit for the scenes unfolding in and around the Capitol, posting a message on his social media account at 2.38 p.m. that read, quote, don't fucking leave, and celebrated the success of the conspiracy 
in an encrypted chat for a small group of Proud Boys leadership stating, quote, make no mistake, and then we did this. Genius, criminal masterminds. And then here's the part about the television film crew that is filming their conspiracy in real time recording audio for our posterity and for their conviction. <laughs> Mwah! Chef's kiss. Idiocy. Tario was released. Now, this is page eight, by the way, if you're following along. Tario was released at approximately 5 p.m. on January 5th after having been ordered to leave the District of Columbia. Tario did not immediately comply with the order. Instead... Uh, he traveled to an underground parking garage located in downtown Washington, D.C., where for approximately 30 minutes, he met with a group of individuals that included Elmer Stewart Rhodes III. Elmer Stewart Rhodes III. How fancy. The founder and leader of the Oath Keepers. A documentary film crew was present in the garage and, at one point picked up audio of a person referencing the Capitol. While in the parking garage, Tario told another individual that he had cleared all of the messages on his phone before he was arrested. Tario further stated that no one would be able to get into his phone because there were two steps to get into it. All of this indicates obstruction. All of this indicates a... Malice of forethought, knowing what's going on, a premeditation to obstruct justice. The leader of a conspiracy, the government alleges. <sighs> this is the best and the brightest that they've got. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I appreciate you, I appreciate your time and attention, your, your, your viewership, your passion for making the world a better place. Follow me on social media, I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere, and if I bring you some value, small or large, <laughs> as I do the small, uh, please consider supporting my work here on the platform for as little as two bucks a month. You can click the join button, become a channel member, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until I do, don't walk around with documentary film crews. Just a bad idea. Also, be genuine and take care of one another.